The first day, I don't really understand what my roommate is saying. I didn't know like how to, like what should I talk to my roommates. So most of the time I just laugh and then just walk away or something. And that was the whole conversation in that day. <laughs> I couldn't speak English very much at that time, but now it's okay. It's comfortable. After three months, I could communicate. I was happy about my improvement. I studied English hard as I can. Written English is my difficult part. But I have to talk because I can't communicate. I think uh, learning a language is something that's very important to the school. I mean, I'm very proud of myself learning to speak different languages, you know, bits and pieces, and also them learning how to speak English. I mean, it's really cool how we come together in that way. At the beginning of the year when I came to Texas and I met my American roommate, I was totally shocked by her politics, but that was one thing that I was even more shocked at. When she talked to her friends back home, she used the word dude all the time. So I started laughing so hard. But now I say dude all the time because I've been with her so much. That's definitely like my favorite word. Every American nowadays says dude, <laughs> except the highly professional ones. <laughs> Maybe in their spare time when they're not doing anything important. I'm learning Italian in Italian 1. I am in Italian 2 now. I am in Italian 3 because we're in the Italian part of Switzerland. I can use what I learned in class in town, put it to practice. Yeah, I use my Italian all the time. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> bon appetito. Acqua frizzante is my favorite. That's it. Yeah. When you just look out a window here, you should just say, Bellissimo. Prego. Ciao. 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 Ciao is definitely the biggest one. I can't think of any others. Whenever you speak their language, you can really connect with them and they, they automatically like you more. Yeah, I learned a few words in Turkish. Hevet is yes and hayır is no. I actually learned some Danish from her. <laughs> I can count to ten and I know, uh, what's up beautiful? Yeah. Uh, Vasa smoking. <laughs> yeah. She good. thinks I sound Swedish when I say that. Sometimes my room is like a Russian party. <laughs> and I started liking to hear it. And she teach me some things. Privet, which means hi. Niet, which means no. Da, yes. In Arabic, I think I don't know how to say cute or love my life, like Ayati, Yani, Habibi. Definitely remember Konnichiwa, yeah. but that's like the big one. Yeah, he teach me English too, yeah? Yeah, I mean like, I'm pretty sure he got something from it, <laughs> speaking English. What I thought was really interesting is they don't have a word for please in Danish. So she's always like, oh, would you do this for me? That'd be so nice if you would do this for me. And I'm just like, just say please. And she's like, oh, I'm not used to it. She Americanized me a little, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Definitely we can have a very good conversation, so I think that's one ginormous step in the proper direction for English learning speaking. I speak English better than last year. <laughs> Are you going to keep in touch? Or? Um, yeah, well, we're I Facebook so. friends, so yeah. I mean, technology nowadays <laughs> works miracles.